the future is brought to you by Belize. trip to Charlotte was an important one for Bobby Farnham, who signed his AHL contract with the Thunderbirds at the start of the trip. Farnham has been playing on a PTO since late October. It was nice to uh, get that done. It's been it's been great being here so far and to you know, have the stability with the contract and get out of the hotel, move into a place was, was nice. There's a lot to take from the Charlotte trip. I think the first game, you know, I don't think we played as well as we wanted to. We had a good practice the next day. Um, the guys were, you know, able to get together um, for some dinner after the first game and and enjoy the city, which is a pretty cool city. And, um, you know, stuff like that goes a long way in the long run uh, during the season. Sunday and we played that one o'clock game. We played a really good game, and you know maybe on a, on another day you get a, a bounce the other way and um, win that one. But there's a lot to take from that game. Obviously, we have a pretty young team, and I think experiences that I've had um, can help you know with some of the younger guys in, in that a, a mentoring role. And obviously, you want to bring. And I always like to say, you bring what you bring uh, day in and day out um, to practice to games. And just leading that way and, and being that type of player, um, you know, can, can help. One hundred and sixty miles to the east of Charlotte, the Florida Panthers were in Raleigh to face off with the Carolina Hurricanes. All right. Well, uh, first, just the lineup for tonight compared to last night. Um, any changes? Yeah, a few changes. Uh, Dryden Hunt's going to go in. Um, we're going to go McCautions back in tonight. Um, I'm also thinking the other way too, right? Troch's line. I'm trying to get them going offensively as well and spend some more time in the end. So. Huntsy on that line, you know, what he supplies, big, strong, uh, uh, fast guy, some speed, and he's good on the forecheck. Hopefully he can, uh, you know, loosen some pucks up for those guys. Yeah, at first it was a bit surreal. Um, now being here, I think it's almost been uh, close to a month now. Uh, it's all try it's all kind of sinking in, and uh, I'm trying to enjoy every day and make the most of it. And uh, when I do good in the lineup, and, like I said, make the most of that opportunity and go from there. It's kind of been a big adjustment uh, coming from the American League last year, and then getting uh, a taste last year at the end of the year. Um, just trying to establish myself as a consistent guy in the lineup in the NHL here. Um, I'm very appreciative of uh, my time in the American League because it got me to where I am today. I think b between me and Ian, it's uh, it's good competition, but we we do enjoy playing together and uh, we're. We're, we're good friends off the ice, so we always uh, uh, give each other confidence, even when we're not in the lineup, and, and just sticking with it. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of good competition, but uh, it's fun competition, and it makes us better. Uh, it's nice to have those guys to kind of hang out with. Uh, Weeks, Kosh, and Bricks are all together down in Florida, so I spend a little bit of time with them, and, and even on the ice, just to practice, kind of having that familiarity, like you said. Uh, showing, showing you what to do, uh, a lot of new drills for me, so uh, they've helped me out quite a bit. Jordy was a great coach. Uh, he helped he helped me a lot with getting my confidence to to where it is now. But uh, I think he just you know 
not trying to do so much, uh, just kind of playing steady defense, moving the puck, and uh, the offense will come. You have to bring it every day, and you have to you have to bring it every single shift. Um, he demanded that from his players, and I think towards the end of the year last year, we really brought that every game in Springfield. Um, so I tried to bring that mentality here to the NHL. For so many current and former T-Birds, it's become clear that a direct path between Springfield and Florida has been forged by hard work and dedication at the AHL level. Both have our, our defensive-minded uh, coaches, so they like they like hard, consistent, consistent D-man, and uh, you got to show your consistency every night. And both uh, both head coaches insisted on that every single night. So if you want to stay stick around for a long time in this league, you got to show consistency. All the players and the coaching staff give you all the confidence in the world, and uh, they've shown a lot of trust in me. Uh, it's a long season. We got seven competitive D-men that uh, can play every single night, so it's uh, good competition to make make myself a better defenseman out there. Every day, game, and shift, the T-Birds are learning and getting closer to the ultimate goal when the future goes south.